Hello guys, we're back to uh, reviewing homeworks. Now it's Ricardo's turn. Uh, Ricardo uh, has already developed a good part of his plot and he realized that some parts of the plot are convoluted and that some parts of the plot he doesn't know how to resolve. And that's why I wanted uh, him to start also with the theme. But he had this, uh, how to say, hard difficulty because he needs to discern theme from already existing plot which can be a trap and he also has to come up with clarification about why is he uh, doing what he's doing and knowing Ricardo a bit I know that his team is very deep and comes from personal pain and personal experiences and I like the way he made a map there's a link in his homework a map of uh, of teams how they team develop and how they team sort of uh, follow through and they, th these are what I call the cover themes. These are the themes that are going to follow the explanation of his deep deepest personal theme. So again we see him explaining most of his theme through plot. I know it's a uh, it's difficult thing to do but I, that's why I told you you have to um, you know do, do, do think hard and try to isolate what's like your message, pure message, no no plot. Basically, a difference between a story and an essay, I'm, I'm also mentioning it in a, another document, is that an essay is your opinion on something. And I want you to have opinion on something. I want you to have opinion that matters. You know, like, it can be something outrageous, like, I hate Asians, you know, like, uh, and I explain, I hate Asians because this happens and I always do the, uh, it's maybe, it's maybe, you may be wrong, but it's maybe just stupid racist comment, but you know, you have to be passionate about your message and you have to explain it to yourself. And then, uh, instead of ranting about it, which would be something like a blog post, you know, opinion blog post, or instead of making an elaborate analysis of why do you think you're right, which is an essay, you have a story that illustrates it. And, and that's, that's, why, uh, that's the way to consider defining your theme. So what do I want to talk about? What's my, what's my message that I'm passionate about? And then you can start uh, you know, discerning these cover themes or secondary themes because it will help you develop a story. And I'm really glad the, the way Ricardo did this uh, for himself. It's, uh, and, and he used uh, tropes, TV tropes, which is also good because it's a tool for writers, so feel free to use it. And, uh, but uh, yeah, but I would also like to see, um, how to say, like this map he made for secondary team, I'd like to see more crystallized, more clarified, this deeper personal message. Like, what is it that you want to say summed in one sentence? Of course, if it could be summed in one sentence, you wouldn't write an entire book or a game. But, you know, just try to find out this one one theme, that one message that you want to do. Uh, for example, my theme for making this course is like, I hate reading shitty games. I, I hate when I see poorly crafted games. Not because I know how to do to make it better and uh, I think uh, I don't think that the people should stop writing until, you know, like Sheldon said, you know, you should have a chip in your head and every time you write something, bang, boom, your head should explode. No, 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 no. I, it's okay. But my personal passion is to see more well-crafted games and to see more uh, well-crafted games, both in the sense of game design and, and writing. So that's my theme. Uh, it can be it, it it will be expressed in two weeks core in this two months course. But my primary passion is to see better games and you know also to see writers promoted. And these, these are like the secondary themes. Like I, I I would like to see you guys make it in the world of interactive fiction. You know and make a living from it if you want to. But. So, but, but the main theme is this, what, what I'm passionate about. So yeah, I'd like you to... to, to um, because I have this impression that you wrote this themes thing for me, for the homework. So these themes are your compass, these themes are your stuff. Because when you get stuck, when you forget, when life washes, you know, enthusiasm from your project, that's where you come back to, to the thing that you're passionate about. I mean, it wasn't easy also for me, you know, I had 
electricity outage and some crazy life tr troubles in the meantime, but I was like, yeah, but I really have to do this, you know. So, good luck. <laughs>